Okay, yeah. so I'm picking up some speed, Zad. Hold your oh, hat yeah. and don't put your hands outside, please. Baby, I want you to know. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new mod pack that I'm so anxious to jump into. It's called the Traincraft. Well, it's actually a bunch of everything together. We've got Traincraft, Rail... Um, uh, railcraft mod and also uh, railcraft and a build craft and a bunch of other craft 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 <laughs> and also next to me another mod that I actually had to import in was Zad right over there so oh. say hi to everybody Zad and uh, hi there, everybody. how are you doing today Zad okay and as, long as, you, as long as you didn't call me the villager or something. the villager no I call you the engineer and look at me I'm wearing my little overalls because I'm excited as can be because today we were going to be going and giving you just a little glimpse of what we've created so far uh, a little yes, tour yeah a little tour we've done this yes in creative mode because we want to get a little advance on this world and just test out uh, this mod and see how it rolls and runs and all the conflicts that go on and all the other problems that we can actually come across and we've actually found out a few which we're going to share with you maybe in the later videos but in this video what we're we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna take a little uh, train ride from here to uh, oh, our right. other village that we have right Zad I love train rides. let's go let's go okay so I'm gonna get right into uh, the whatchamacallit I'm just kidding the locomotive and as you see I've chosen a CN one which I love you could actually choose different locomotives uh, by laying when you lay down your locomotive by using different colored dyes magenta orange red and all those funny colors that give you different logo uh, trains so right now I'm gonna jump right into my choo-choo train and um, I'm in the caboose. Yeah, he's in the caboose. Now, if you press <laughs> R while you're in the train, you can actually see the, uh, I guess, the control area. I've got a bunch of stuff here in my inventory, which I don't really need, but in creative mode, I was just playing around some stuff. Um, now, you see it takes a fuel canister, so it takes diesel, actually. You need diesel, so we had to purchase it from this uh, other village far, far away and had it, have it shipped here. But the good thing is, guys, in this series, or this series that we're going to be trying, uh, we're going to be creating a refinery, so we're going to have tons of diesel. We're going to be uh, just refining and, and just yes. shipping diesel all over the world, I guess. Minecraft world, that is. So, as you see, I've got canisters in there. I've got 50, and here, I'll put some more in here. So, we're at 64, and the rest we'll put here. Then they become empty, and you can just refill them. It's not a problem. So, let's get in the choo-choo train. We're going to take the brake off. Uh, the engine is already on, but you can stop and start the engine this way. And unlocked means, uh, I guess, you can lock it for yourself so other players can't really use it. Now, as you see, Zad once upon a time drove this train, and that's why he's the owner of it right now. And that's why I'm able to get into it, because he left it unlocked. <laughs> and also, right over here, this is your diesel. Uh, yeah, your diesel tank. So let's get going. Fire the whistle. Yeah, it did it a little bit. Okay, let's go. Uh, move it a bit forward here. <laughs> So as you see, I'm going to get my gooey stuff back in here, and uh, yeah, so we see the speed of the train. Hopefully the tracks are set properly. Is that, I don't think the track is set properly here. It doesn't uh -oh. look properly to me, so if, if it's not proper to me, something is going to I break. I go check it out for you, Raz. Just flick the switch. That's all I ask for, for you. Okay, You're my safety done. advisor. Yeah, you're going to go through the side. You're going to go around the Okay, the can you flick it just a second, please? Just do it. Okay, hold on. Do it for me. There we go. On my thing, I see it proper now. Okay. So let's just see if it's actually proper for me, because I think I'm the one I have to worry about. <laughs> it's not what you see. Okay. No, it's right. And this Here one is okay. Okay, that looks fantastic. So let's blow the, blow the horn again. It's a little sharp turn, I must agree, but hey, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So yeah, we're going to be going around this. I don't want to go too fast. I'm going about 8 kilometers an hour. Uh, you don't want to take the turn too fast either because you're going to lose your cargo, and that's that doesn't take much to do that. But as you see, I'm coming around this section here, and uh, we're going to be connecting all these signal block lights and all this stuff. We're going to make everything all fancy, but this is just a quick tour, a quick sample of what it is. Uh, uh, I guess what to expect in our train craft thing. So let's continue going here. I'm going to end up going all around. And uh, as you see, it's going to be a bit slow because i got to wait for my cargo to go around. And Zad's in the caboose. Yes, I am. Fantastic. I see you hanging out there, Zad. Okay, so we're going to go around here and we're going to head towards a beautiful village. So let's uh, do that. All right, so now I'm uh, rolling, rolling, rolling in the back of the factory here. I'm doing a whole roundabout. Um, we managed to get through the coupling section and we didn't manage to lose any cargo, which is awesome. Because <laughs> that's really easy to do sometimes. So you got to watch sometimes the speed you're going. Uh, on a straight track, mind you, you can go pretty fast. But I think this train goes up to like 50 or 79 kilometers an hour. I forget which one it is. But yeah, it also, 79, yeah. Yeah, 79. There you go. But also depends on the load you're carrying if you got a lot of carts it won't pull as fast and yeah there's a little bit of physics that comes into play uh, surprisingly but hey 
it's amazing. So here we go, and as you see in front of us over there, we got a quarry already set up. We're already starting to cultivate the land, if that's the way you want me to say it. But yeah, and uh, we're going to end up refining all that and shipping it all over the place. That's what our goal is, just to have fun with the choo-choo train. So if you guys are liking the trains and you guys are liking even the thought of this series, hit that like button so we know that we're going to continue this for you. And uh, yeah, we'll just continue just doing videos after videos of this expanding, uh, I guess, train layout, right? Yes. Okay, uh, the train tracks aren't good there. Uh-oh. Okay. So here, um, I'll get my little man that's stuck over there. Here, let me just put the brakes on. I guess I can do it for you, Zad. It's uh -oh. okay. I'm on my way. This is not looking good. Your little steam train kind of went. Oh. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> We almost had a collision there, guys. Okay, so we're just going to fix this collision, and uh, we'll be back. All right, so we managed to clear that little traffic jam. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to undo the brake here, and let's uh, rock and roll back to where we are having to go here. So I'm going to take it a little bit slow because it is very tight, as you see. Uh, in reality, yeah, we'd probably smash the heck out of this area. <laughs> but uh, let's pretend uh, that everything is smooth and uh, that's really not happening. So as you see, my carts are struggling going <laughs> zigzagging. But, yeah, that's Minecraft for you. All right, Zad's still back there. We didn't lose Zad. That's the yeah. one that we don't want to lose because that's the last one. So if we lost him, we lost our cargo. Okay, so <laughs> as we're starting to go forward here, uh, we can pick up some more speed in a couple of seconds here. Um, there we go. And Zad's around the bend. Yes, okay, sir. so now we're going to pick up some speed. And Zad, hopefully the track above me or in front of me is actually... <laughs> um, I could actually get out and check. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slow her down a bit. I'm going to let her roll, guys, because I like running next to my train. It's all magical what I do. I just don't want to get killed here. So let me go here. And now we're good. That's awesome. You could actually jump out of the train, guys, as it's <laughs> rolling and do your switching. But like I said, this is just temporary for now. We're going to have everything automated when the train comes. It's going to be working with signal blocks, lights, and this and that, and know which way to go, I guess, uh, and all that fun stuff. We're really going to look into that because... That was really uh, what intrigued me about this mod pack. Okay, yep. so I'm picking up some speed, Zad. Hold your oh, hat yeah. and don't put your hands outside, please. Okay, I won't. So as you see, guys, I'm going to put on my choo-choo. It's not that loud, but hey, it's still, uh, yeah, doing its thing. So I'm on my way down, and it's going to be a heck of a journey. So I'm just going to probably do a little cut in and out st uh, style when we see something interesting. Because as you see, this is just a straightaway, and I think the journey is a good, what, Zad, uh, five minutes, right? Oh, yeah. Easily sure. five minutes. The village is quite far. So uh, we're just going to, uh, actually, I think up here, if I'm not mistaken, is the turn, isn't it? No, no. Keep on going straight, straight, straight. Okay, it keeps going straight. So that's what All we'll the do. way straight. All right, guys. We're arriving right now at uh, the other, I guess, part two or part B or whatever you want to oh. call it. Place B, point B. Oh. Look Finally. at this, guys. A beautiful, beautiful village that we found. And uh, it's beautiful. Like, I mean, there's two sides to this area. Um, and there's a lot of train stuff going on. And we also made a nice deck that we're about to arrive in. Um, do you want me to stop at that village, Zad? Yeah, yeah, we can show Is the track uh, set good to park there? Oh. Or we're going to have to back up or something fancy. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We can stop the track here. At yeah, the we'll station, stop anything. at the station here, guys. This little station we're coming across here. Yeah, the track looks good. All right, so I'm slowing it down. I'm slowing it down, and uh, there we go. Let's blow the horn. And I'm also going to fix the Minecraft sound. I know it's a little low for you guys, but I mean, uh, we'll figure that out if, definitely for the next video. So you'll get better sound uh, of the of the trains, I guess. Sound quality, yeah. Sound quality, exactly. So here we are pulling into the station, a beautiful station, and we got so much work ahead of us. Look at all the boxes that. Uh, are you going to be unloading? Oh, that just broke my station. But uh, are you going to be unloading my uh, boxcars, that? I will have to do that. Ooh. Oh, what's going on there? It seems like I did a flip. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. I think, uh, yeah, something broke. All right, so uh, we fixed that little problem. There was missing actually a track uh, that, was, <laughs> that broke before. I wonder why. <laughs> okay, so I'm moving in here. As you see, um, it's no more a green light. It changed to red. We actually connected those signals so that when there's something on the section, it goes red. So if there was an actual another train coming, we can set it that it would have to turn and it wouldn't be able to come down here. Yeah. So here we go. We are stopping the choo-choo train. I'll blow my horn one more time. It's not loud. It's not loud. But anyhow, um, are all our boxcars lined up? Not really, is that? Yeah, they are. 
They are? Okay, so we're yeah. going to stop our choo-choo train. Whoop. Perfect. It's very hard to stop this thing sometimes. Don't okay. Forget to, don't forget to brake, Raz. Oh, i got to press R and pull the brake, and voila. And actually, we could turn off the engine because uh, that's the way I like it. So there we go. The engine is now off. I've came to, uh, we're going to call this, I don't know, the tar sand area because as you see over there, there's tons and tons of tar. I mean oil or whatever. Yeah. Oil. And we're going to refine it and turn it into diesel so that we can power up our new, new, uh, fantastic series of trains. Yeah. So of... we have a lot, right, Zad, to yeah. uh, show them. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to test. So hopefully, yeah. guys, you will join us in the next episode. This was just sort of like a teaser to show you what Traincraft uh, is all about and what we've been up to. Uh, we will continue building and doing other fun stuff. So uh, hopefully you'll be with us for all that stuff. So if you did like this, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, guys. Bye, guys.